humanity has already entered the third millennium. Scientific progress has made possible what just 100 years ago seemed like an unattainable dream, science fiction. But still, there is no answer to the main questions that philosophers ancient times pondered. How is our world structured? And who are we in it? Gazing into the sky, we, like primitive people, try to unravel the great mysteries of the universe. One of such mysteries is black holes. What are they? How are they formed? And how large can they be? Hello, dear friends. In today's video, we would like to tell you about black holes. But before we start, we would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to not miss out on new interesting videos about the mysteries of the universe and our planet. First, let's understand what a black hole is. A black hole is a region of space-time whose gravitational attraction is so great that even objects moving at the speed of light cannot escape it, including photons of light itself. The boundary of this region is called the event horizon, and its characteristic size is the gravitational radius. So, how do they form? A black hole is one of the ways a star can die. Science currently knows that the lifespan of any star is determined by its mass. In the first stage of development, when a star forms from a gas cloud, the temperature in its core rises to several million degrees. Then, a reaction converting hydrogen into helium begins. While hydrogen burns, the star is in the main stage of its life, which takes up about 90% of its existence. This period is called the main sequence stage. When the hydrogen inside the star runs out, it moves to the next stage, where its fate depends only on its mass. For small stars like our Sun, the core heats up to about 100 million degrees Celsius, after which helium begins to turn into carbon and oxygen. In this case, the shell expands so much that a red giant is born. This stage lasts 10 times faster than the hydrogen burning stage and takes about 10% of the star's entire active life. After the helium is burned out, the super-dense core turns into a white dwarf and the former shell expands and is shed into space. However, due to the lack of gravity, low-mass stars cannot heat up their central regions and carbon and oxygen cannot continue nuclear burning. However, in stars whose mass exceeds the solar one by more than 10 times, the temperature reaches several billion degrees and reactions with the formation of neon, magnesium and heavier iron begin. As a result, an iron core forms, growing until the object loses stability and gravity squashes it even more. The central part of the core compresses, turning into either a neutron star with a mass of up to a billion tons per cubic centimeter or a black hole with a mass tending to infinity. After its formation, a black hole immediately starts to absorb the dying star, the remnants of which begin to rotate around it, forming an accretion disk, which exists for a very short time. However, it cannot quickly absorb such a large amount of substance, so it ejects part of it back at a speed close to the speed of light. As a result, two gamma-ray beams emerge from the black hole, breaking through the outer layer of the star and being ejected into space. This is a very powerful gamma-ray flux, incomparable in brightness with anything in the universe. For better understanding, during a regular supernova explosion, as much energy is released as the Sun emits in 10 billion years of its life, while the gamma-ray burst can be 100 million times brighter than a supernova. So, we understand that hypernovae, when exploding at the end of their lives, form black holes. But what lies inside this unfamiliar for physics system? A black hole is neither a solid nor a gaseous body. It is not just a spatial unit. It is an object that distorts not only the three dimensions we understand, length, width, and height, but also the temporal scale. Scientists believe that around the event horizon, time takes on a spatial value and can move both forward and backward. Space-time is severely curved due to immense gravity. Light quanta, entering the black hole, not only disappear, but also add their mass to the singularity's mass, making it even larger and increasing its gravitational forces, which there are millions of times stronger than on Earth. 
The concept of what a black hole is was first introduced to the world by the German scientist Karl Schwarzschild. According to him, it can form at any point in space, when a material object with a spherical shape somehow reaches the so-called gravitational radius. The gravitational radius is a characteristic radius defined for any physical body with mass, at which an event horizon created by this mass would be located. At the same time, the mass must be spherically symmetric, that is, distributed proportionally inside the sphere. The laws of physics and geometry work perfectly on Earth, but completely lose their meaning at the event horizon. That is why, from a mathematical point of view, it is impossible to calculate the internal components of a black hole. You've probably heard of the concept of singularity, but what does it mean? What can it consist of? And what does matter or substance turn into in a black hole? In cases with small luminaries and supernova, it seems clear. After the explosion, the star's or its core's matter loses intraatomic space, and the matter condenses due to gravity into a state known to science as a white dwarf or a neutron star. As for hypernova explosions and the formation of black holes after them, things are somewhat different. Let's turn to a well-known formula derived by Einstein at the beginning of the last century, where E stands for energy, M for mass, and C for the speed of light. From this formula, we can deduce the mass as follows. The equivalence of mass and energy is a physical concept of the theory of relativity. Based on this, we conclude that energy and mass are different forms of the same phenomenon. During the transformation of matter into energy, the property of gravity and space-time curvature is preserved. A similar transformation is partially embodied in an atomic bomb, where particles of matter disintegrate, releasing a huge amount of energy, which we call atomic. Throughout the existence of the universe and organic life, the transformation of energy into matter and vice versa is traced. Energy is the soul of matter. Returning to black holes, it can be assumed that singularity is the energetic component of the distorted space-time region, hypernovae, during an explosion as a result of the most powerful gravitational collapse, transform the matter of the star's core into energy. The process of material energy transformation of a black hole may occur in reverse compared to the so-called Big Bang during which energy was transformed into matter in the surrounding universe. This means that during the gravitational collapse of a supermassive star, atoms first decay into nuclei and electrons. Subsequently, the nuclei continue to decay into protons and neutrons and those into their constituent quarks. At this moment, fundamental forces unite and the known laws of physics cease to operate, after which all matter of the former star transforms into an energetic substance called singularity. Let's suppose that not all energy transformed into matter during the Big Bang. Part of it was preserved and scattered throughout the emerging universe. Possessing powerful gravity or space-time curvature, these significant volumes of energy created galaxies around them, eventually turning into supermassive black holes, which still reside at the center of most star systems. In our galaxy, such an object is Sagittarius A. A few years ago, scientists managed to photograph this black hole. Its mass exceeds that of the Sun by 4 million times, and the disk we see in the photo has a diameter of about 60 million kilometers, comparable to Mercury's orbit. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. As of 2024, the heaviest supermassive black hole is located in the Phoenix Cluster, 8.5 billion light years away from the Sun. Its mass is 100 billion times that of the Sun. If we assume that it is a non-rotating black hole, then its huge event horizon has a diameter 100 times greater than the distance from the Sun to Pluto. Black holes are among the most amazing and mysterious objects in the cosmos around us. So far, our technologies do not allow us to fully explore them. Perhaps they are portals leading to distant corners of the universe. Perhaps they are doors to other universes. For now, we don't know. But someday in the distant future, our descendants may unravel their mystery. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel to not miss our new videos about the mysteries of space. Write in the comments what you would like to learn about next time. Thank you and see you next time.